Welcome back everybody to another fictionalhead.com quick tutorial with my squeaky chair. Um, today's quick tip is on using clipping paths between Photoshop and InDesign when you're doing a layout. Uh, <clears throat> if you were to be doing a layout where you wanted say in this picture of me but you don't want the background you just want to clip around me, um, I've already gone to the trouble of taking the pen tool and drawing a path all the way around. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it there, but I just basically went around with the pen tool and clipped around my object all the way around to clip the part that I want. And you can see here that my work path is this shape right around me. Um, uh, what you do is once you've made your work path, um, in order for you to be able to see it in InDesign when you place this image in InDesign, you have to hit the little uh, arrow there in the corner and hit save path and give it a name. Uh, a lot of times out of laziness it'll just be called path one because you're not going to have hundreds of paths in one image but if you do uh, get more specific with your path I'm just going to call mine clipping path or actually that might be confusing with the controls we'll call it clippy. Um, and then save your image. I'm just going to throw this one on my desktop and save it as something that retains clipping paths. Generally this is a PSD or a TIFF. Um, I'm not sure their EPSs might, but you probably want to stick to PSDs or TIFFs. Um, save your image and then place it in your InDesign document. In this case I've already thrown in some dummy text here, some lorem ipsum. Uh, place your image and you'll see that when I place my image, it's the whole thing. And uh, if that's confusing as to what the heck, I clipped it out. What you have to do is tell InDesign what path to use to clip. So you select your image that you've applied the clip clipping path in and go to Object, Clipping Path, Options. And if you've done everything correctly up until this point, it'll appear um, Photoshop path will appear as an option in this drop-down. It won't be grayed out. You select that and then sure enough there's my path clippy. I can check preview and it'll clip right around my uh, clipping path just like that. Um, and there are some other options there if uh, you want it. Whoops. Hello to my father again. Um, if you want, actually hang on. Okay, hopefully this is still going. Sorry about that interruption. I should really close Messenger prior to doing these. Um, <clears throat> so basically, once you've got your clip clipping path into the program and you've told it what it is, uh, the advantage here is that you can now tell uh, InDesign to avoid this object. Um, if you go to Window Text Wrap, this will pop up here. And if you click your... your uh, object and set it to wrap around object shape. You can very easily have text flow around um, your clipping path. This is used in magazines all the time and this way as you reflow your text here uh, you're, you're not individually line breaking things in order to avoid objects and you can very easily turn up the amount of padding around your object in order for the text to avoid it uh, you know, set hyphenation, things like that. But the reason, this is the primary reason you use clipping paths because I know when I first started doing all this stuff, I wondered why don't you just um, knock out your layer in Photoshop like, like this and then just drop that into the program. Like why would I want to use a clipping path and go through all the trouble? Uh, the the reason is because if you go through all the trouble you can achieve effects like this whereas if you don't go through all the trouble when you use text wrap it's either going to not wrap at all or it's going to wrap around the box that contains the image and this isn't useful in the least so uh, by doing it this way you can um, clip right around objects and flow text very easily so that's the tip sorry about that interruption there in the middle uh, if you have any questions, shoot them to me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, interweb, do your thing, tickety-typety. Uh, that's it. Hope it was helpful.